Hi guys, it's Samantha and I am back today with another Facts on Authors video. If you guys are new to my channel, I started this series a while ago where I try to choose a new author every week and I tell you 15 facts about that particular person. Lately I have been doing classic authors, so let us get started. Today I will be telling you 15 facts on the wonderful Louisa May Alcott who wrote the great classic A Little Woman. Fact number one, Louisa May Alcott was born on November 29th, 1832 in Germantown, Pennsylvania. Fact number two, she grew up around some very famous literary figures who were not only friends of the family but also served as occasional tutors to her and her three sisters. Among these were Henry David Thoreau and Ralph Waldo Emerson. Their father also helped tutor them and was a man with a very extensive educational background. He was a philosopher and, and was a great supporter of women's rights and the abolitionists. Fact number three, in 1851, Miss Alcott started publishing her works under the pen name of Flora Fairfield, which included poems, thrillers, short stories, and things of that nature. In 1862, she started writing and publishing plays under the name... A.M. Bernard, and some of these actually ended up making it to the Boston stage. Fact number four, in 1863, she published her first book, Hospital Sketches, which was a recounting of her experiences working as a nurse during the Civil War. This is what sort of persuaded her to become a full-time author and to pursue her passion seriously, and it was after this point that she started publishing under her own given name, Louisa May Alcott. Fact number five, in 1869, she published Little Woman, which propelled her into popularity and created a large demand for more books from her and ended up giving her and her family financial independence. Fact number six, the character Jo from Little Woman was in fact based on herself and the other characters of Meg, Amy, and Beth represented her three sisters. Fact number seven, Miss Alcott was in fact a suffragette. Fact number eight, her father as a philosopher was never able to hold down any kind of a job. As a result, the family often lived in poverty. So Louise May Alcott and her sisters would often take any type of job they could to help to get money for the family, her writing being one of those. But as soon as she published Little Woman, it was met with such success and she made so much money off of it that she was finally able to gain financial independence for herself and her family so that they could live comfortably for the rest of their lives. Fact number 10, she said of her father and philosophers in general the following. A philosopher is like a man up in a balloon. He was safe as long as three women held the ropes to the ground. So though she loved her father, she did find his rather flighty tendencies to be a little bit frustrating, as I was led to believe, while searching facts on her. Fact number 11, Flower Fables was her first book that she wrote under her pen name, Flora Fairfield, and she earned $32 for that book, which was actually pretty good for the time she lived in. Fact number 12, she ended up raising her sister Mary's young daughter after her sister passed away after only six weeks after giving birth. Fact number 13, Louise May Alcott's father actually passed away two days before her the exact same year. Fact number 14, Louisa May Alcott passed away on March 6th, 1888, almost exactly 100 years before I was born, by the way, which was a little bit weird. She was constantly ill after serving in the Civil War. Some people were attributing this to mercury poisoning that she would have been exposed to while working as a nurse in the Civil War, but recent evidence has suggested that she may in fact have contracted that she may have in fact had lupus and which is what ultimately killed her. And finally, fact number 15, Miss Alcott wrote a total of 14 books, including the Little Woman trilogy, which consists of Little Woman, Little Men, and Joe's Boys, 73 short stories, and three plays, which is pretty impressive given her 56 years of life. That's not bad. She wrote a lot more than some people, right? So guys, those were my 15 facts on that wonderful author, Louisa May Alcott. Let me know down in the comments any authors that you would like to see me feature in later videos. If you liked this video and thought these, these facts were interesting, let me know what you thought of them down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, happy reading. Bye! Hello everyone, it is Samantha, and I am back today with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Today I'm going to be showing you my Top 5 book couple 